What's going on, everybody? Uh, picked up another new project. The Civic uh, was kind of short-lived. Um, I guess I'm kind of out of the front-wheel drive game a little bit. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I'm kind of falling for V8s a little bit now more. Uh, so I did pick myself up a uh, 2006, um, 2006 Chevy Silverado. It's a uh, two-wheel drive, uh, 4.8 liter, uh, extended cab, whatever, short bed. Um, got an on three performance turbo kit coming for it. Should be here tomorrow. So uh, in the meantime, I kind of am tearing apart um, a few things here. Got the exhaust off and uh, intake and all that kind of good stuff. Um, drain the coolant out of it and whatnot already. Whole front end's off, the grill and the headlights and all that to fit the intercooler. We kind of kind of just prepping it so not as much work in one night kind of thing. How I normally do stuff, I just have a regular car and then do all of it at once and it can lead to uh, you know messing up and whatnot. So get a start on it today and then uh, tomorrow we'll have the turbo kit here and uh, tomorrow night we should have everything kind of hooked up hopefully. We'll see how everything goes but we'll uh, pick up when the turbo kit gets here. We got the turbo kit in the mail today. Um, I'm going to show you the parts breakdown, uh, pretty much what all comes in the kit and uh, what you can expect from an on three performance turbo kit. Uh, to start, um, comes with a uh, custom made stainless steel turbo manifold. Um, it is a pretty nice piece. I uh, don't really have any gripes about it um, yet. Um, it looks like a very nice piece. Uh, it comes with the crossover here. Um, this is this piece which connects the driver side manifold to the turbo manifold and then this is the downpipe off of the turbo right here uh, as you can see the intercooler three inch core um, I don't know should support some good power uh, oil lines all that kind of stuff uh, v-band clamps uh, intercooler piping uh, they also give you the coolant uh, for the heater hoses, uh, these guys, um, just because um, the way the down or the way that turbo manifold sits and everything, the heater hoses get in the way, so you use those to uh, kind of get around that issue. Um, and it comes with uh, quite a bit of ex exhaust piping, uh, obviously the downpipe, and then they also give you um, a piece that gets it out to the end of the cab, and then this piece to uh, extend it even farther, probably out past the bed a little bit. Um, here's a turbocharger. Um, ships uh, pretty full of oil, <laughs> so I would probably brake clean this off a little bit before you throw it on. Uh, nice and tight shaft. Uh, these are, I've never had any issues with these turbochargers. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, a bunch of couplers. And then some miscellaneous stuff in here. I picked up uh, the map sensor for the truck intake, uh, just because on three is the cheapest place to get them. Uh, this is just a two bar map sensor that can reboost, goes in the intake manifold. They're only like 30 bucks through on three versus 100 through the dealer. Uh, and then custom plug wire kit. Uh, I was honestly expecting a little bit better plug wires um, for the 75 bucks you spend on them. Uh, pretty much to compensate, because you need different plug wires for this manifold, because the stock ones will burn up in these runners because they're so close together. Um, yeah, I was, I was expecting a little bit better quality there uh, and to compensate for it. So they give you this really long <laughs> plug wire, which uh, I don't think I agree with, but we'll, we'll make them work and uh, I'll probably make another video. Well, about five hours into wrenching on this uh, 06 Silverado on three performance turbo kit. Um, we are uh, almost finished. Uh, as you can see, everything's on there. You know, driver's side manifold, uh, reused, which is real cool. Uh, turbo manifold, downpipe, everything's on. Intercooler piping was a pain in the ass. I'll, uh, one thing that I, just because there's no room, um, you know, in there to get your hands in there and whatnot to get the uh, <clears throat> intercooler piping on. Um, yeah. Knock off, tile, blow off valve, whatever. It's all on. Took about, like I said, about five hours to get every to get to this point. 
I still gotta do oil lines and um, tidy up some other stuff like the coolant hoses and whatnot. Um, these are the heater hoses. They don't fit. Um, uh, you can't see it, whatever. Um, the uh, coolant hoses don't fit off the stock uh, thermostat hosing with the turbo manifold in the way and whatnot. So uh, custom plug wire kit too that we got from on three. Uh, they ended up working a little bit better than I thought, but uh, still not the design I would go with. Um, uh, might not be making sense right now. It's like three in the morning. Um, been working since like nine or so. But uh, yeah, so far so good with the on three kit on this 06 Silverado. Uh, we'll pick up tomorrow after I get done with work and uh, maybe tidy up the oil lines, get the grill and everything back on, and hopefully fire this thing up. Well, minus uh, the lack of sleep that I haven't gotten in uh, the last like 48 hours, um, I can proudly say that this thing is pretty much done, um, minus uh, tuning it, uh, which I should be doing tomorrow night. Got some new uh, clear hosing headlights for it too. These things freaking are awesome. Put some HIDs in them. Um, intercoolers behind the grill. I don't know if you can even see it. This thing's pretty stealthy. <clears throat> Um, cooling system, we pretty much uh, had to uh, put a, this is a, a filler neck off of a 2000 Dodge Durango, I believe. <clears throat> and uh, it's just a pretty much a inline filler neck that goes on the top radiator hose and you can run your radiator cap uh, like that uh, because we no longer have the uh, factory uh, coolant overflow slash radiator cap which is right here this piece of shit it's super hard to bleed those they uh they just don't work and they don't fit with the turbo being right there and whatnot uh dump tubes on the wastegate oil lines are all ran uh we kept the air conditioning which is awesome um kind of hard to see down there but uh it's a tight squeeze but you can make it happen uh the ac line going to the uh uh, what you deal right here um, You have to uh, take a I just took a extension and I pounded it down a little bit to uh, bend the line because it does hit the manifold um, Right out of the box there, but uh, You just pound it down a little bit and it clears and then I just zip tied it out of the way <clears throat> Right there uh, down pipes on Custom plug wires are on I think I already said that uh, the uh, coolant hoses off of the uh, for the heater hose are on on three actually gives you um, These metal uh, I don't even know what kind of angle that is probably like a 120 degree angle to reshoot the uh, heater hoses out of the way so they don't touch the uh, Exhaust manifold and then I just clamped them onto there And uh, yeah, two bar map sensors in it's still got the stock injectors. I'll probably end up just decapping the stock injectors uh, because stock, they're like a 25 pound. And uh, if you decap them, it turns them into like a 60 pound injector, which is pretty cool and should support like, I don't know, 500 wheel easily. <clears throat> uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, got some oil in it, coolant in it. She's ready to go. Uh, I should be driving this thing tomorrow night after I get done with work and uh, yeah, we'll uh, pick up from there, but uh, this thing's definitely coming together. Probably one of the smoothest builds I've ever had in a long time. Usually my builds, usually, um, you know, you run into a bunch of issues and shit, but uh, this thing's been pretty smooth so far. Uh, sorry if this video is a little long, but I will get some tuning in here and uh, some uh, videos of it running and whatnot. But uh, hope hope you guys enjoy it. Go. Cool.
gauges in. Looks sweet. Wide band, boost gauge, training temp.